Okay, we have here a long critical reasoning passage. There's a lot going on. Specifically, we have two bold-faced parts. There's the first bold-faced part, and then there's the second bold-faced part. What exactly is going on? Well, the full first bold-faced part states that the roots of melon plants perform less efficiently under the low oxygen conditions presented in rain-soaked soil. So we can kind of put that in our own words. The ground is wet, the roots of, of the plants don't work as well. Okay, so that is basically a strong statement there, just making a statement. But what happens in the second bolded part? It says it follows that melon plants have a lower rate, a lower than usual rate of photosynthesis when their roots are in rain-soaked soil. So it's going back to the idea of rain-soaked soil, but you'll notice the words before the second bold face part that reads, it follows. So before that, something is coming, and then we're, we're reaching the second bold face part, and we're forming a conclusion, a sort of therefore. It follows that. It's very similar to therefore. What happens, though, is this, the passage goes on to have another therefore. Therefore, ripe melons harvested after prolonged period of heavy rain should be less sweet than other ripe melons. That is the very last sentence in starting in line 13. So you can see that, oh, that's the final conclusion. So the second bold face part right here is the intermediate conclusion. It's not the main conclusion, it's the intermediate conclusion. And so the first part then does what? Well, it allows us to get to the intermediate conclusion. So it provides support. Okay, if the ground is wet, then the roots aren't as efficient. And you'll notice, importantly as well, the part between the bolded face connects those two ideas. So it says when the roots aren't doing their job or they're not efficient, then they're not able to get nutrients for the plant to do photosynthesis. And if the photosynthesis isn't doing as well, then dot, 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 finally we get to the point where it's the main argument, ripe melons are not likely to be less sweet after the ground is wet or after heavy rain. But again, this still hit. This is basically what it's saying, what is the bold phase part. And first part is support for the intermediate conclusion, which provides support for the main conclusion, which again is the ground is wet, the melons aren't going to be as sweet. So what answer choice is that? And here you can match it up and we come to answer choice C, which is the first provides support for an intermediate conclusion that supports a further conclusion stated in the argument. The second states that intermediate conclusion. Now there are other answer choices with intermediate conclusion in there, such as answer choice D. But if you look here carefully at the language, it says the first serves as an intermediate conclusion that supports a further conclusion stated in the argument. The second states the position that the argument as a whole opposes. So answer choice D is wrong because that word opposes. There's no opposition going here. Again, these are all supporting one another.